Oh. Hi guys, uh, today by the title you probably know I'm making deep fried Oreos. I've been wanting to make this for a while. I feel like it's fun and it looks pretty easy. I mean, what we're gonna do is just take some Aunt Jemima pancake mix. Ain't Jemima, ain't your daddy. Really any pancake mix, but don't get like gluten-free kind because you know, vegetable oil, brand new as you can tell. And some measuring cups so that you can measure um, precisely and not mess up. If you're gonna do it, buy double stuff. You just the doughs inside and put them to fry. And I guess it's gonna work. I saw it online, I checked it out, I've never done this before. So we hope it works, because if not, this is gonna be a very weird video. That was the smoothest egg crack I've ever done in my life. I actually just found out that I also need milk. He needs some milk! And I didn't put that in the introduction, but hey, we're improvising, so I'm gonna put a little bit of here. I'm gonna go to the fridge, and I'm gonna get the milk. Okay, so now we got the milk. Uh, hey, almond milk. That's what I'm having today. It says that it's three-fourths of milk, so this is where the measuring cups come in handy. I'm gonna put the three-fourths of milk if I can find it. Twelve seconds later. So apparently there's no three-fourths, so I'm gonna do some math. I'm gonna do one half of milk and then add one-fourth to one half, which should make three fourths. I learned that in school. And that's three fourths. And now the last thing left is just a little bit of vegetable oil. <laughs> I opened it because it was new. And it says one teaspoon, but I think that's the same thing as one cap of this. A little more than maybe two cups. Maybe three cups. It's definitely three cups. I keep adding uh, tools and ingredients to this because I keep forgetting. But right here is not everything you need because you need to mix it. You're not going to mix it with your hand. You're going to mix it with this. Buy it and mix it. Woo, 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 woo. The pancake mix is ready. Before I dip the Oreos in the mix, I'm going to put the oil so it's ready uh, because I think this is gonna take a little while and by what I'm seeing right now we're gonna be using a lot of oil maybe next time I suggest buying a vegetable oil that has a bigger opening so that it flows faster I don't even know if this is gonna be enough <laughs> right there to be sure if it's ready you just dip a little bit of the mix and it should flow to the top while i'm waiting for this to heat up um this is kind of dangerous so 13 year old girls watching this or you know kids watching this that are young uh do this with your parents because i don't want to get sued Okay, so I took it out, like the little test thing, and it wasn't planned, but come on, that looks like a heart. Like, I'm not saying it's a sign, but it's a sign. I always do these things like without trying them first before videotaping it and it always surprises me that it comes out good. So we have five and that seems like enough. Oh wow, they're actually really soft. That melted so it's already like ice cream. Wow. I can't believe you can make this at home.
because I'm, I'm about to cry. We can add powdered sugar even though I don't have any, but I am gonna add some ice cream. I'm gonna add some cookies and cream to take this to the next level. <laughs> Some ice cream. One. And one more ice cream and one more. Like I would pay twenty dollars easily to eat this. Why the fuck you lying? And I'm eating this at home. You guys should try this too. I recommend it. Like it's it's really good. And yeah, thank you for watching the video. Um, another, you know, cooking video by me, who is not a. Chef, yeah, if you guys make this at home, tag me. Uh, not that I invented it, but tag me.